Hey, this is Jacob, and in this video, we're gonna go over how to market your business on Instagram. All right, so let's dive into how to market your business on Instagram. So here's the thing, over 75% of businesses are going to be using Instagram in 2020. And the reason that is that a lot of businesses are seeing the benefits between having a profile on Instagram. Like a lot of people, when they think of Instagram, they think of like food pics and stuff like that, which is cool and is definitely a place for that. But if you are a business owner and you wanna look for additional ways to kind of get yourself out there, to promote yourself to your talk audience, I mean, Instagram could be a really good place to do that. And also keep in mind too, that Instagram is also owned by Facebook so there's a lot of people on Facebook that's on Instagram and vice versa so if you can kind of be have both of those if you can have a presence on both of those platforms it could be really beneficial for you so if you're thinking about marketing on Instagram or maybe you haven't decided to market on there because you're really not sure what to do or how to maximize it then definitely stick around and watch this video because I'm going to show you a few things that could really help you out so the first thing that you want to do when it comes to Instagram is that you want to create a business profile. Now here's the thing, business profiles gives you access to deeper insights about your audience. The different profiles that you can create on Instagram, they have the regular profile, you also have something called a creator profile, and you also have a business profile. Now creator profile is good because it gives you um, analytics into like how your following is like growing and decreasing over time, but business profiles is really where it's at because it's really made for businesses and you can really get some deep insights into how your audience is engaging and interacting with your Instagram account. So you get to learn things about your location of where your audience is at, like if it's in a specific country or perhaps a specific city. You also get to know like the general age ranges of your audience as well, like is it from 18 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, and also the gender as well. Like do you have an audience that's primarily male, is it primarily female, or is it relatively balanced? So here's another thing too that's cool about profile is that you can add multiple contact options to your profile. So what I mean by that is that you can add options where somebody could either call you, they could send you a text message, and by doing that, by being able to just um, contact you straight from your Instagram profile, you know you may able you may be able to catch some extra business doing that, or maybe somebody might have a quick question for you and they could just hit one of the contact options and they could just respond to you right and not even have to leave the Instagram platform or you know click on the link and then it'll just send them to wherever they send them to. So it's pretty useful in that aspect. And also another thing too is that you could promote your posts as ads right from the platform. So you can go and you can kind of set up a little mini promotion. Say you have like a product or maybe you just made a post on your Instagram and you want to boost that post. You can set it up by using an Instagram business profile. Now personally, I don't recommend like um, setting up like promotions when it comes to, to it comes to using Instagram. I recommend using more so like the ads manager because it gives you a little bit more control. But if you need to do something a bit on the fly, then you know it's perfectly fine to just um, set up a quick motion um, from Instagram. Now, next thing to really get the most out of Instagram is that you wanna optimize your profile. It's not just enough to create a profile, but you also need to optimize it as well. So here's the thing, your profile pic should be some type of brand and image. So if it's a business profile, like it could be like your logo, or maybe you could use your face, like if it's more like a personal brand sort of thing, but you wanna use an image that's instantly recognizable by your target audience. And also you wanna put some time into writing a really interesting bio as well. You know, it's, you don't wanna just kind to fling anything in there like it doesn't give you that many characters to work with but really think about what makes you unique or something that would really like kind of call out to your target market and try to incorporate that when you're writing your bio and also don't forget you can also include a link in your profile as well so you can include a link to like your blog you can include a link to see like another social media account like your Facebook or like YouTube or something like that. So make sure that you take advantage of that as well because as people are engaged with your profile, some of them may go to your profile, um, will engage with your post that is, some of them may end up going to your profile, they can see your bio, they can see your image, and some of them might even click that link to see, you know, what's on the other side. Another thing too, so when it comes to really marketing on Instagram, um, you want to make sure that you're using relevant hashtags. Relevant hashtags, super important. You see, hashtags essentially help to provide more visibility on the platform. So they got a bunch of random hashtags on there. You know, if you just kind of scroll through Instagram, I mean, you'll see like a ton of them. You know what I mean? And what happens is like when more people see your content like via the hashtags, there's a chance that some of them may actually become followers. So if you post like a really solid piece of content, you know, you post like a really nice photo or something on Instagram, Instagram, you had a couple of relevant hashtags. As people go in and discover your post, like I said, some of them may click on, they may like what they see, they may really feel the vibe of your profile, and they may end up following you. Now you turn somebody that was in your cold audience into your warm audience.
super powerful. And as your following continues to grow and it continues to get bigger, it's only going to get easier to get followers. Because here's the thing, people like to go where there's already a crowd. People can feel a little bit of angsty at times when they're like the first person or like the second person. But when they already see like a gathering of people around, they feel more inclined to kind of go and to kind of become part of that group. And the same um, principle applies when it comes to Instagram as well. When they see somebody that has like hundreds and thousands of followers and they see a lot of engagement on that platform, they're going to feel a bit more inclined to follow you because clearly you got to be doing something right if people are following you and engaging on your profile. Now, another thing too, when you're posting, when you're marketing yourself on Instagram, that is, you want to make sure that you're posting on a relatively consistent basis. You see, the Instagram account. Instagram, I said the algorithm tends to favor accounts that post on a consistent basis because ultimately you have to understand when it comes to the social media platforms, their goal is to keep people on the platform for as long as possible. That's just the truth of the matter. They wouldn't be in business for very long if people just came on the platform for two or three seconds and then just kind of bounce off. They want to keep people on the platform and the way that they can keep people on the platform is to have people that are like creating content on a consistent basis because now it gives people a reason to stick around to like, to comment, to kind of mingle a bit. So when you're posting consistently, you're helping Instagram like as a whole, keep people on the platform and to stay engaged. So as you consistently keep showing up for your audience and you're consistently putting good stuff out there, your audience is going to actually start expecting your post to come out at a certain time. So this could be pretty cool because you know that instantly, like if you decide to like create some type of post, you know that there's going to be that initial engagement to kind of kick things off. And if you're using hashtags, like I mentioned previously, that's going to help expand your reach. And as people already see that people are already engaging on your post, they may go, they'll engage on your post. They may check out your profile and they may click on a link. They may go and they may contact you to find out some more information about your business it just becomes like a whole snowball effect so posting consistently also helps to build credibility with your audience because somebody that's able to take the time or some business I should say that's able to take the time to post on a consistent basis this looks like a very credible business it looks like they're running a very strong and tight operation but if you would say like posting like very sporadically or just every once in a while or so then it kind of loses that effect like it seems you seem a bit indifferent like you don't really care so by constantly showing up and being consistent people are going to look at you as some sort of an authority another thing it's not just enough to post consistently I mean I wish it was but it really is not you also want to make sure that the quality of your post is really up there as well so a good tip to keep in mind is that you want to use like high quality stock photos. So yeah, they have sites like Pixabay and like Pexels and so. So definitely recommend like using like really good photos. So that way when somebody comes across like one of your posts, it looks really good and it helps to create that good initial first impression. And also I recommend getting familiar with Canva, which is actually what I created this entire presentation on because they have um, different apps available where you can go and source like um, different images to go and create your posts. So super useful, definitely take a look at Canva. And also, you want to try out different formats as well. Like try out different types of posts. Maybe you could do like a value post one time or do a question post another time, you know, or maybe just do like a quick little video and see what is your audience responding to. Is this a particular topic? Is it a particular way that you come across? And just once you get an idea of what your audience is resonating with, then you can just go and you can just create more of that. Also, when it comes to marketing on Instagram, they have this feature called IGTV. And IGTV is cool because you can create long form content for up to 10 minutes in length. So I highly recommend, you know, really taking advantage of that. Like if you're really comfortable on video, then IGTV may be up your alley. See, so you can create, and I highly recommend, like when you're doing IGTV, you want to make sure that you're creating your videos using a vertical orientation. So pretty much you want to create the video in a way where somebody doesn't have to kind of like turn their phone horizontally. It should take up the entire screen because it's, it's a very, how, how can I put this? When you had the, a video that's up in a vertical orientation, it's a much, it creates a much more immersive experience for that user. And they don't really have to like kind of shift their phone to the side. They can just kind of hold it like how they normally hold it. And then they're just kind of taking in the content that you're delivering to them. And also too, um, IGTV does allow you to create custom covers, which is similar to what YouTube does, where it allows you to create like custom thumbnails for your videos. So definitely take advantage of that or creating these custom covers because that'll help you stand out and it may entice some people to kind of click on your videos to see what it's about. And also, now this is if you're feeling really, really brave, go live on Instagram. 
Now, here's the thing. Now, before you decide to go live, like just hold on there, buddy. Before you decide to go live, you want to make sure that you determine first the purpose of your live stream before you go live. Because one, that's going to actually make it a lot easier to kind of go live. Because if you just kind of go in there and, you know, you don't really know like what you're going to talk about or what you're going to say and stuff, it can get a little bit overwhelming and you might clam up and stuff. So you want to have at least some general idea of what you want to talk about before you go live on Instagram. And also another thing too that could help is to promote your live stream beforehand so that way you can kind of get people, you can get your audience that is warmed up and ready for when you actually do go live. And this could help lead to a much larger turnout during your live stream. And also, after your live stream is over, you can still get some additional exposure to that live stream by posting it as a story on your Instagram profile. So you can just so after it's done, you can just post it. It stays up for 24 hours, and as people are coming on your profile and interacting with yourself, you know they can check out your video, get value from that live stream, and now you have an additional way to just kind of get more exposure for that. Now here's, I want to leave you one final thing. I highly recommend signing up for a free trial of Canva so that way you can start designing your social media graphics. I mean, Canva is absolutely free. It's an amazing tool to use and I use it myself. I use it for everything that I create and it's really going to help you out a lot, especially when it comes to marketing on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, pretty much just about any social media site that you can think of. So you can sign up for a free trial of Canva absolutely for free. Now all you have to do is just go to jacoblaguerre.name for slash canva-1 you just go there you sign up for a free trial and if you don't like it for whatever reason you can always just downgrade to a free version of canva but honestly i mean i use the pro version of canva myself and i cannot imagine using anything else it is a fantastic tool so anyways, I just want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you got some value out of it. And I hope you feel better equipped to start marketing your business on Instagram. So this is Jacob Laguerre signing off. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.